Hello and welcome to this important update on Gold XAU USD. My name is Vic. I'm the founder of Akinsa Capital Management. Thanks for joining me here. Now, gold has been rising up and uh, we can see that you know there is a strength in the price section here and in spite of like you know an fp news and whatever right you know gold has maintained its strength uh, the last week now we are as we are approaching the last month of this year uh, this year's price section is going to be very very important in fact the rest of this month is going to be very important so let's find out like you know what kind of opportunities we have on gold <music> Okay, so what we have is actually look at this price action, right? You know, this is very, very important, but we'll come to this once we have done the full multi time frame analysis because it's, it is a new month and the price has already been changing. It's kind of like a you know, little structure here, um, as you can see. So let's start with higher time frame and see what we have got. So if I remove all the drawings and uh, start from 12 month time frame, so if I look at the 12 month time frame, what I can clearly see is that gold has been bullish, right? You know, for near about two years, gold has been bullish. Then it took a little dive here, then it went higher, and then started to take dive. So this year has been actually like you know kind of indecision for gold because the market went up then fell down and now it is trying to recover its lost ground so right now as you can see this is kind of indecision year for the gold because the market is um, like you know playing both sides now if i go to the six months time frame okay now six months time frame is something like this right you know there was a huge fall and now market is trying to go and close as a bullish candle now these this combination of these two things is can be like you know a little deceiving what market is trying to do you have to read very very carefully and plan for all the eventualities because you see the whole market is kind of undecided like you know first six months have been bearish now the last six months are turning out to be bullish so this is uh, kind of indecision at the moment now if i go to the 12 month time frame once again what it is trying to do is actually like this so the gold has been bullish for last two years it fell down which was not a huge bullish a bearish candle now it is trying to go up and close as a bullish candle just to like you know resume the previous momentum to like you know um have the same bullishness in the market so if that is the case the for it to for this candle to turn into bullish um, it needs to reach minimum 1826 1827 level or so approximately if i look at uh, if i just look at the open price of this this is going to be 1828.77 as i can see here so for this candle to uh, become bullish it needs to minimum reach uh, that level of 1828.775 so that becomes very important for this month and this year okay it's it, if it reaches there and if it closes above then the entire dynamics can change so gold is trying to achieve minimum that level um, by end of this month now if i come to six months time frame that's exactly is the open price of the previous one as we saw and now if i come to the three months time frame this is where it is trying to go so last two candles have been bearish and the market has actually collected the uh, liquidity below this double top sorry double bottom and now market is trying to go back up to reach near about 1829 uh, 28 29 level or so because it needs to see whether it can close as a bullish candle or not okay if i go to the two months time frame on two months time frame this is what's happening it has been falling down continuously now it is trying to very quickly recover some of the like you know, lost ground so in the last month or so it has been able to recover majority of the like you know these two candles this is turning out to be a bullish engulfing candle which can set the price like you know to um, on on the upward trajectory if i go to the monthly time frame on monthly time frame this is also a bullish engulfing candle it has been able to eat one two three uh, four uh, near about three candles here and now the fourth candle like you know december month has started and now it's still trying to go up to that level here it can continue all the way like you know technically it is possible for it to continue all the way to this previous structure level which was close to like uh, uh, approximately let me just put the line there so just to 
get an idea approximately 1896 1900 level so it can still go there right you know that is the minimum that it can go if it continues to go higher that is also a possibility now in this structure if you remember like you know um I think it was a month ago or something um like yeah october um this is what i mentioned like you know once you have this sort of uh, market structure you expect at least one bullish candle to appear now we were expecting it to appear in this but that did not work out it actually went higher then came back down however this appeared now this one is working out exactly what we were looking for we were looking for a bullish candle right now this candle has turned into um, bullish engulfing that is why this december month is also trying to be bullish now if it turns like you know so the, the opening price of this month which is approximately here 1768 approximately what it is um 176 uh, open price is 1768 235 so that is also very important so now we have got two prices which are very important one is this open price of this of this month and then we have this um open price of uh, like you know the uh, the six months which is 1828 so gold either needs to drop below this by end of this month right you know to stay on like you know the downward trajectory uh, otherwise it will try to go and like you know approach that level minimum that level here it can go slightly higher as well now if i go to the weekly time frame on weekly time frame uh, here now what we can see is something like this you see <clears throat> because of this thing right you know because of this rise which is uh, which has been really really good um most of the bloggers most of the analysts and most of the traders they've started to say okay triple top has it has been working out now this is actually going up now that is true but in in you should remember that you know gold has this tendency of creating double tops triple tops and double bottoms and triple bottoms it has been doing that it does that all the time it does it on nearly all the time frames okay but it then it comes back down or comes back to that level to collect the stop losses so here you can see this has been really nice like you know one two three four five near about four five uh, tests have been done and then ultimately the market went through all of that to collect the stop losses okay this is what's happening the heart has been happening here as well and you will see that you know this is uh, there was another place here approximately here and you will find more examples of that on other time frames as well so at some point in time remember that this is going to get taken out so gold is going to fall to take this one out okay just remember that right so what we know is that okay right now this is bullish and it can continue to stay bullish but we need to stay objective and trade what you see so right now there are few structure levels of few things which are standing out one is that this level this point here this needs to be cleaned out another one is approximately here that needs to be cleaned out so as we can see this 1828 is coinciding with that and it is also above this previous structure which is good right you know because it can then go slightly above collect all the stop losses and then start to come back down that's a possibility okay that's one of the possibilities that can happen if it continues to rise above that then the next level is going to be somewhere around here and if it continues to rise up then approximately that will be the level because that will be like you not know, the start of this entire bearish move that can happen okay so these are all the possibilities now one of the things that i should tell you um which I kind of like, you know, realized a little later um, on Wednesday actually, is that this price section, this price section, if gets enough momentum, okay, above this level, 1829, this can go parabolic. This is a, a sign, like, you know, the market can go parabolic on gold. And that is now turning into a possibility if there are few conditions which are met like you know suppose like you know, this is also broken and the market does not fall below the previous low what i mean by that is we have another important level here and that is the this candle low so if the market does not actually violate this and if it continues to rise up then it can go parabolic as well and it can go all the way to previous so approximately this structure or even the previous highs that is a possibility now 
okay because we trade what we see we can anticipate anything but we trade what we see now if it remains within the structure if it remains within the structure of this okay so the price goes up somewhere around here or where whatever now and if it comes down to break this triple bottom which in fact it is going to at some point in time as long as it stays within the structure it, there will still be a possibility that it will break through this and if it does then what will happen is it is setting up for an even bigger fall now because remember what we were expecting was that this the market was creating an m pattern and m pattern was going to complete somewhere around in 1580 1523 level okay but the market started to rise up even before that now what does that mean it means that now market has this potential of creating not like that but market has now this potential of creating a bigger m pattern which can bring it down to near about 1300s or so and we know that there are few caps available in 1300s as well so that has become like in a long term possibility it all remains to be seen whether it actually like you know remains in this section or not and whether it actually able to like you know break some of these important levels here okay so this is what we have on higher time frame now let's go and look at the fine tuned levels here um, these are not the premium levels the premium report uh, has further levels and like you no know, better possibilities but this should be good enough for you to like you know find an idea remember this was a liquidity zone and the market actually has grabbed that now this has become a liquidity zone the market should be able to grab that as well um, i gave you in the last um, um, update i gave you two levels which was like in this lower zone and this was an upper zone and further in our telegram group i mentioned that you know the market could go slightly higher above this upper zone to collect the stop losses and that's exactly what it did on nfp so if i come to the four hour time frame the market came here okay collected those stop losses fell down now if you pay attention to this price section here the market actually came into this um into this uh, structure level uh, the upper zone and started to bounce up okay now if this continues to bounce up and if it goes above 1806 okay then we have the possibility that it will continue to go into the next fcp zone but if it starts to fall and goes below this level here which is 1780 uh, approximately let me put a line there there i do not want to put too many lines here um so 1780 approximately so if it actually breaks through the 1780 level then we can like you know start to think about that okay gold might actually come back to the lower fcp zone okay um and um form an m pattern now again from a lower fcp zone it can bounce up because that's has that has become a support zone another thing that you should watch out for is that there are few gaps available um, here somewhere around here in this candle there are gaps available so the market can come down to collect them uh, one important level here again is 1768.115 so all these yellow lines are very important uh, for us to monitor and uh, let's go now to the daily time frame okay so now on daily time frame what's happening is that the market is struggling with this upper zone and if it breaks through this 1806 the yellow line then it is going to move into this fcp zone of um, 1838 to 1857 that fcp zone that coincides with the previous structure remember the one that I was talking about like you know, that needs to be cleaned up that coincides with that and also possibly with this trend line now if the market continues to go higher so this is what the plan is so if it goes above if it closes above 1806 and we get a confirmation then it's going to move into this fcp zone okay and then possibly fall down because all of these levels can act as support and resistance depending on the where the market is coming from then if this for fcp zone is violated then you are looking for the next fcp zone which is going to be 1884 to 1906 that's going to be very very important and if that is also broken then we are looking for something like 1954.313 and then if it continues to rise up then we have 7 1979 and after that we will have 2072 level approximately and remember this price section is very very important okay so let me put a line here as well because that is also very important 
the low of this previous price section right if it breaks through this 1727 um and like you know starts to go down that will be a good news for bears um however if it holds right and the market continues to rise then it can go all the way uh, to approximately 7 1980 or even like an you know, all-time high near about all-time high as well so that is because it if it does not break then it can go parabolic here okay so this is uh, uh, what we have here now let's look at uh, a uh, four hour time frame once again just to like you know uh, give you slightly better idea what's going on on those time frame now here <clears throat> these levels if the market starts to go down right you know read one step at a time so you see if the market is forming an m pattern that will only form if it does not go above 1806 and give a confirmation bullish confirmation that means it can fall down to this previous structure and if it continues to fall then it will come down to 1786 uh, sorry 1768 right and then you should be able to draw a trend line as well like this and then it can push back up so that is an immediate possibility on the gold now if it continues to fall then remember this is very very important level 1727 which i just mentioned and then after that the next level will be 1718 fcp zone here uh, to 176 because there is a lot of um, congestion here and the market was uh, like you know resting and then started to boom out of that so that means the market can still go up from here there could be buy orders here now if it continues to fall then some of the minor structure levels minor levels are going to be 1692 1687 1684 and then 1680 okay and then we will have this trend line again to support this so this is what it is looking now i know that it can be slightly confusing and that that confusion is coming from as i said it's coming from the market itself and that is why when you are confused always look at the higher time frame and see what it is telling you and take one step at a time okay when you are confused just take one step at a time do not trust media and bloggers like you know they are already picturing like you know just because of this move they're already picturing that you know the gold is going to be like you know it's going to be it's going to fly and all whatever they they use those terms and like you know um, those phrases just to like you know make uh, retail traders and most of the um, like you know big short traders as well emotional right just stay objective trade what you see and take one step at a time right so this is what it is showing and as you can see the market can still form an m pattern that is still a possibility right okay so this is what we have on gold hope you enjoyed this analysis if you did make sure you hit the like button and put in a comment below because that is going to help a lot your support is very much required and share it with other traders and trading communities because they can also benefit from it and i'll see you in the next thank you for watching find and follow us on these social media channels